Okay. Exhibit A. This is why you don't let Paige go in mud puddles. I didn't think it was that deep, and I sent it. And you can tell I sent it because I sent it. This is my dad to the rescue. I sent this poor thing. <laughs> I sent it a little too hard. Okay, so right now I'm fixing to move this thing out of the way so I can back this one up so I can change the oil and we're going to take a tire off and check the brakes just to make sure he doesn't need rotors because that's what he's, he's worried that he needs rotors which hopefully he doesn't but I got the battery charger on it we're gonna see how well it's gonna start have it ran it in forever So let's take the battery charger off and get this moved out there. Oh, what's that we see? It's a little truck. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Okay, let's see how it's gonna act. It's been acting kind of wonky here lately. Let's see if we can get it backed up. We're gonna put it over there in the field with the So everybody remembers that little S10 I had. I mean, it hasn't been on the channel in a while, but we did get some bad news on it. But, hey, it is what it is. It's still a good running little truck, but come to find out where the intake meets the head is leaking. So what we're gonna do is over the course of the rest of this week, not week, I'm sorry. The rest of this month, in the, in the month of May, we're gonna be very easy on it. And then during June, we're gonna change the intake gaskets, change the head gaskets. Hopefully we can get this grill fixed. Get the new headlight buckets, cause uh, it's broke. Um, get new fenders. I'm leaving the hood alone. I love the patina look right here on the hood. I'm just getting new fenders. We're gonna get some spacers too for the wheels because I'm tired of the scrub. So we're gonna do that. Get the headlight buckets. I have the piece for this. I just haven't changed it yet. But yeah, 287 sitting next to each other. I'm surprised that one actually ran. I'm surprised that one crunk up and ran. So let's get back up there to Wayne's truck and get it moved out of the way. All right, like I said, we got the truck pushed back now. We're gonna do the oil change. And we're going to jack it up. I mean, I got to jack it up anyway to get underneath it. Jack it up, take both tires off, and we're going to look at both the pads and the rotors just to see if we're going to have to replace them. Um, come to find out, after we did the rear brakes, the front brakes started to have a little kind of this measure when it got a little warm. When it was cold, it was fine, but when it was warm, it was doing this. So I'm leading to think it might need rotors, but it also might just need pads. But that's what we're hoping for. Pads are cheaper than rotors are. So I think a set of rotors for this was like 120 bucks, which to some people that might not be bad. But I think other ones were like $80, $80 a side. But the one I looked at was a kit. So I'm not too exactly sure how much it was for this. But I'm leaving route 120 to two. Those are my two numbers I'm going with. So um, let's get the lugs broke loose and get this thing jacked up, change the oil, and then look at the tires. All right, you guys, 
We are now coming from me to you from under the truck. Um, I can never remember what size this drain plug is. And it seems like every time I do it, I never get it right. See? Never. Seven nine sixteenths. So it's always a it must always be a five inch. I can never remember. What? It's five minutes. This way. Vertical spray. Green plug. Out. This is how I always do it without getting my hands as dirty. Is I just let it start seeping out. Real slow, nice and slow. And you see it starting to come out? There it comes. Oh yeah, you can tell it was due for a change. And there you have it. Your hands aren't dirty, see? Not all my hands. So I'm gonna set my drain plug down. Okay, so this is what happens when you over tighten your filter. I over tightened this filter last time I did an oil change and this was the aftermath of that over tightening. Um, it broke the filter, but we were running a Pro Select. We're going to run an Apple Gold, but um, yeah, I, we had to pretty much destroy this filter and we finally we resorted to heating it up and heating it up, got it off. So we're going to fill this filter up a little bit with some oil. We're going to run some Lucas in it and... That should be able to oil change and then probably tomorrow because it doesn't got dark on us do the tires so yeah don't over tighten your filters kids that's just terrible okay <gasps> quit all right so we pulled plug number one out and it still looks good it still looks good so we're gonna sit that up here. This is the first time we do it this year. We don't have to care. We don't know what we're doing. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick my finger in the spark plug hole. And I guess he's gonna. And I guess I'm gonna sit here and wait for him to. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to wipe him. Don't kill me. Okay, so we got the door on. We didn't say it was gonna be perfect. I mean, it's, it's green. So, and pretty, it's, it's pretty. Got the door panel on. I don't, I think that's just the, I don't know, it's something. But, there you, we got it, the door's on, so, okay. Okay, so after, how long has it been, what, an hour now? Three. <laughs> an hour? Three. We got the new drums on, and we got the new no, wheel cylinder. Wait, you don't have new drums on, you got the brakes on. <laughs> this I'm is, tired. This is a drum. <laughs> I got the new brakes, the shoes, the new, new springs, springs, new that. Got all my adjusters in, and we even got our pretty blue about to be drums yeah pretty pretty much so we're going to get those installed and then we're going to adjust the brakes and then hopefully my hardware comes in for the other side because i have to get the new hardware for the e-brake cable adjuster thingamabobber whatever they call it and um put it on that side and then we'll go in depth on that side on how to do it but people let these drum brakes in intimidate them they're not that bad I still prefer disc over drum, but 
So like I was saying, this is my first time attempting doing drum breaks. So I had to have a little help because I'm a strong, I'm a weak little weak one. And um, some of these springs were harder for me to get on. So I had to get Big Muscle Man over there to do it for me. And um, other than that, it was a relatively easy to put on. So we're gonna put our drum on and adjust it to make sure it's right. And then put the other, do the other side. And then we gotta bleed the brakes. And then hopefully he'll have a nice firm pedal now. And then eventually we'll do the fronts. So let me get this drum on and get this adjusted. Okay, we got our hook, I mean our drums back on. And um, now we're painting this, the hub itself. And um, we're going to bleed the brakes after I get that side done over there. Hopefully the parts will come in here soon. It'll probably be tomorrow when the, when the parts come in. So I went ahead and already replaced the wheel cylinder on this side on that side too and we said we already had it down this far so we said might as well just change the whole brakes so he'll actually have good brakes and we're going to get another can of this duple color engine paint i've used this before i prefer this over any kind of spray paint even though it's for engines it's good for these drums we're gonna do the front calipers the same so let me get this middle right here painted and then we'll be back with the other side Okay, so we now have our clip in. We're gonna take these studs and a spring and the cap. And we're going to find a hole on the back of the drum. Which is right here. No, the drum, no, there, this is the I mean the, the backing plate. Okay. Let's look. It's a long four days. <laughs> Honestly. Like that. Now hold and take our spring and we take the hefty pliers because I don't have a brake tool. Clamp it on there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I said nice and easy. Wood. Next. You hold the stud. Well, it's hard to hold this and hold the spring at the same time. Stick one hand behind there and hold that thing still. And you do a little bleed. You do a little turn. Nope. And it does that to you like three times and then finally you get it. Well, you just if I tell you to get a brake tool. Yeah, but I don't own any of those yet. Because this is my first time doing drum brakes, so. No, it's not. It's gonna turn and come off. I mean, you small fire. What are you getting off now? No, I got it turn on. There you go. Take it off, yeah, you do the same thing to take it off. And then, there you go. Nice and easy. Easy peasy. For one side. So, we do the same thing for over here, for this side. So we're going to take our other shoe. Our next stud. Stud goes right there. Do the 
just go to the dryer here. Down a little bit. And once my helper finally gets on the other side, we can put the spring in. Kind of line our slot open with Can you hold that in the pad at the same time? Oh, calm down. Because that's all crooked. Well, I'm trying to get the stud back. Okay. Now. Go there, there. Take our pliers. Grab the spring. Push it in and okay. now it's in. Ow, that's my finger. Now we just gotta make sure this does that. So now, after I got it like four days to make sure this is right, there we go. Why is this doing this to me? Is the spring being a spring? Okay, it'll all go together once we start putting springs and stuff in. So next is the great cable and bracketry that has to go in so see right here on this little nubby nub right here we gotta put this spring here right there yeah are you sure it wasn't upside down which no i was right like this, like so, and then out of our new kit here, we need this piece right here for the bottom. I'm just gonna set that down for right now. We need this, which goes right here. Table and we have our plate, which is here. Whoa, this and comes out. This piece is not right. Great. So we came to the realization that we only needed to bleed the back brakes. So we got them bled, and this thing has got some kind of a pedal now. It's still. It's, it's good, is what I'm saying is. Um, you can hit the pedal and you're stopping. Like right there, you're, you're done, you're stopping. But it's doing good. I'm so proud of, oh, see? See? It's good yeah, it has had brakes this good since we've had it. And we've had this truck for like three years now. Three, four years now? Oh, right? I'm in the woods. Oh, don't put it in the woods. We're backing up, so. Don't put it in the woods. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the house. Make tighten sure lugs. tighten loads, put center caps back on. And I'll take it somewhere expensive. The gas station. Because if you can see that itty bitty little light right there, that's because gas is expensive. But we're going back to the house.